What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and I'm playing Charizard! Let's go! Okay, I'm super hyped for Charizard. Charizard's my favorite Pokemon. I hope it does awesome. Uh, anyway, this team is from a user named Clue. I got it over on Nico's channel is where I saw it. So I'm gonna link both of them down in the description below. But this is a Whimsicott Sunny Day Solar Power Charizard team. Solar Power Charizard does so much damage in the sun, plus Life Orb, plus Fire Terra, it will just nuke some stuff. Now, slight disclaimer, I personally think Chiyu is just better than Charizard. Go ahead and do the calcs, it just is, even in the sun. But Charizard's way cooler, so we're gonna use Charizard. It's, it's a big, monstrous dragon, and she uses just a little fish. Uh, to round out this team, we've got a super powerful Choice Band, Terra Grass, Terra Blast, Entei, and Chen Pao combo, along with Rillaboom and a Speed Booster Fluttermane. Just really all-around solid stuff that can make sure Charizard flourishes. Anyway, we've got the rental code here. Let's jump into some of these battles. All right, let's play Charizard. No, it's a rain team! All right, Chen Pao, Urshifu, Pelipper, Archaladon, Incineroar, Amoongus. And we are stuck with our Charizard. You know what, this could be okay. Because Whimsicott, Prankster Sun, would definitely beat their ability rain. We can't be flinched. We don't have Protect, though. An Incineroar lead would be maybe annoying. Maybe they could go for Flare Blitz or something, but we can handle that. Maybe what we need to do is focus down that Pelipper. Man, I really badly just want to go Charizard right away, but I can't really do that. We need an Urshifu answer. That would be Rillaboom. And we need a good answer for our Chalodon if Charizard can't take it out. I guess that's Chen Pao. Because we have Sacred Sword? Yes, we do. Okay. I'm just gonna go with this. I'm gonna go Whimsicott Charizard and then Rillaboom and Chen Pao in the back just in case we get stuck in a bad position. I think it'll be okay. I hope it'll be okay. I just wanna use Charizard. I don't know if this is the right play. I'm just so hyped for using Charizard. Let's go. Show me something I can Charizard against. That's an Incineroar. No, I don't want to. I don't want to Charizard against an Incineroar. Now, will they bring Incineroar? They do. Incineroar are Chalodon to lead. Okay. I guess they're gonna try to go for like a fake out and take out Whimsicott. If they take out Whimsicott. We can't get our sun, and that would be annoying. We're Terra Water. Do we want to burn Terra Water Whimsicott? They can't take us out if we do that. Terra Water. Set up Tailwind first. And I'm just going to protect Charizard. This might be the way. Because I think what they're going to do is fake out Charizard and send a steel move at Whimsicott, hoping they can get rid of it. Maybe even a fake out also at the Whimsicott. But that wouldn't matter because of our cloak. Because they definitely have their Pelipper in the back. They see that this is a Sun team, I would think. All right, they're going for a Terra right away. I don't know what that's about. It's on our Chalodon, and it is stellar. Okay, they just want more damage. If you're hitting a Whimsicott, you don't need the damage. Maybe you're targeting Charizard? Alright, we get our Protect first. They fake out into Whimsicott. So we set up our Tailwind. That's cool. I didn't want to set up Sun first, because then they could go into Pelipper. And it's just a Stellar Flash Cannon. Okay. Whimsicott takes that for no damage at all. And now we're good to Sunny Day and Heat Wave. And that's what I'm doing. Time to send Charizard at him. Not setting up Sun right away also saves me a single Solar Power tick. 
Now they're swapping out Archaladon. Show me Pelipper. Yeah, there's Pelipper, but now we get the Sun up. Okay. Sun boosted Heat Wave into the Pelipper. That's great. It probably won't knock out, and then they'll want to swap out again, but at that point. Yeah, over half to Pelipper. Nice. And just a parting shot into Charizard. Okay, that's fine, whatever. Whatever. We've got our Tailwind, we've got our Sun. I could throw a Helping Hand. Alright, and you go into your Chen Pao. We're faster than your Chen Pao, but you have Sucker Punch. Um, in the view of Archaladon, you have... You have a lot of good stuff against my Rillaboom. I don't know if I really like my Rillaboom anymore. Uh, that side's probably swapping. Maybe they're swapping into something weak to ground. No, I don't want to just go for the Scorching Sands. That'd be silly. Scorching Sands into the Pelipper slot? That'd be too silly. I don't think I'm that silly. Man, I could have done it. That would have been super cool. Oh well. No, but I, hitting this Chen Pao is good. I, I like hitting the Chen Pao. Honestly, hitting the Chen Pao is probably better than taking the KO on Incineroar here anyway. Alright, helping hand. Show me not Sucker Punch into Charizard. Oh, it's just a Protect? Uh, okay. That's fine, whatever. Maybe I should use this opportunity to get Charizard out. Come back in later for more sweeping. Because right now I can Moonblast something. How much speed is on this Whimsicott? Oh, you're gonna be faster than everything in Tailwind, that's fine. How much Tailwind, how much Sun is left? Last Tailwind, they'll probably want to take me out. But I could Moonblast into Chen Pao. They know not to fake out the Whimsicott, they'll fake out this slot. And maybe just get in my Rillaboom. I don't see them Ice Spinnering into Charizard here, right? If anything, they would Sucker Punch. Because they're slower at the moment. So I think this is A-OK. -okay. Plus, if I lose Rillaboom, it's the least important slot. Yep, just fake out toward Charizard. Moonblast! Chen Pao is now down to Sash. With a crit, thank you, Whimsicott. I don't think you needed that. And it wasn't Sucker Punch. Oh, it's Sacred Sword in the Whimsicott. Which we live! Amazing! We can do more shenanigans if we want. Now, I'm guessing Chen Pao protects. Oh, and we have high horsepower, nice. I'm gonna put Tailwind back up and just high horsepower their Incineroar. They could hard in to Pelipper, I guess. Yep, they just protected Chen Pao, they don't hard switch Pelipper. And Tailwind high horsepower should take the Incineroar. We were inside Rillaboom's drum for a second there. Yep, high horsepower connects. I hate 95 accuracy moves, they should just be 100. And Incineroar is gone. Okay, this is going great for Charizard. And our Whimsicott is still around after Tailwind is gone, and... Presumably Sun? No, they're not getting rid of the Sun just yet. We've got a pretty easy grassy glide into the Chen Pao slot here. And we are... Presumably... Yeah, we're faster than Chen Pao because of Tailwind. So Sucker Punch won't go. Uh, they'll probably want to take out Whimsicott. Is there anything I want to swap in? No, Chen Pao will clean up the game. Maybe I give up Whimsicott. Maybe I just throw a Moon Blast at our Chaladon, get some damage on it, and glide the Chen Pao slot. 
Yeah, I think that's fine. Chen Tao goes down. I was considering setting up Sunny Day in case they wanted to swap into Pelipper and take out Whimsicott at the same time, but they didn't go for that. And just get a little chip on our Chaladon. That is a really little chip. Wow. And then Dragon Pulse. Alright, Whimsicott's gone. They do get their weather. They have the weather control that they wanted so badly. And the sun was ending that turn anyway. Uh, but my option was to sacrifice Charizard, who, who is the only one who really cares about the sun. Or to sacrifice Chen Pao, who is our win condition. So we need to Sacred Sword that thing, if it's ever going to go down. Alright, now I'm going into Charizard, I just want to take out Pelipper, and then focus down this Archaladon last. That's, that's my plan. Uh, we still have two turns of Tailwind, two turns of Grass, whatever. I'm thinking just wood hammer into the Pelipper and throw a Scorching Sands at our Chowdown. Maybe an Air Slash would be better. No, I'd rather have a little more damage. And I'll just wood hammer Pelipper. I even Scarf Pelipper shouldn't be faster than this little one right now. Oh, that's really meaningful damage. Wow. Go Charizard. Oh, that was a crit. Okay. That's what it would have been if Sun was up. So that makes sense. faster. We wood hammer. And this game is wraps. Oh, they have Rocky Helmet. Oh, Alright, go ahead and take out Charizard if you really, really want to. With a body press. Oh no, they're going after Rubik, which doesn't even knock it out. Charizard is going to get the final KO. Love it. Scorching Sands and follow it up with a high horsepower. Cancelled battle. Good job, Charizard. Good job. Okay, we've got- Oh, they've got a Charizard too! Yes, Charizard bite. They've got Charizard and Venusaur and Ninetales, Gouging Fire, Brute Bonnet, and Fluttermane. Everything on their team loves the sun or sets the sun and loves the sun. Honestly, Entei, Choice Band Entei Chen Tao is really good here. I think that is a really solid combo. Maybe we go with that. There's no way they don't bring the sun, so we still bring Charizard. I don't know if I want Whimsicott. Whimsicott would give us Tailwind control, so that wouldn't be bad. Fluttermane is just... it's okay. It's not amazing. And Rillaboom is bad. I don't want... Rillaboom... it doesn't even have U-turn for the Brute Bonnet. So I don't think I want Rillaboom. Or Fluttermane. Maybe I guess I do want Whimsicott anyway. I'm gonna go Entei Chen Pao with Charizard Whimsicott in the back. A late game Tailwind might help. So I'm leading with priority, and then I'll have speed control in the late game. I think that's my plan. Would the other way around be better? Um. Either way, Gouging Fire is gonna probably be the biggest problem here. I don't really have much that can hit it. I guess Entei's Choice Band Stomping would be pretty good, and they can't burn me. Uh, Charizard does have a ground move. I'm mostly relying on them setting sun, but I also have Whimsicott, so I don't have to. But I feel like they will bring sun, because I look like a sun team, but it's manual, so yeah, they need like, nine tails with Venusaur. Cool with me. Now, Ninetales is a little bit threatening toward Chen Pao, but I think E-Speed is really strong here. We're Terra Grass, right? Okay. We don't want to do that. I like my fire typing right now. It's great against Ninetales. And their swap-ins to E-Speed are Fluttermane. Now, I could just not. I could just throw Sacred Fire and ruin someone's day. E-Speed Sucker Punch is an option, but I don't want to actually attack with Chen Pao. I'm gonna Sacred Sword. No, I'm gonna Sacred Fire, not Sacred Sword. Sacred Fire the Venusaur and just protect. I know that's like... I don't know. I think that's fine. They're going for a Terra right away. That's not surprising. It's probably Venusaur. Yeah, show me it's like Ghost or something, so I at least made the right play. It's Ground. 
Oh, they're going for a powerful earth power, aren't they? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's bad for me, but that's so cool. All right. I guess we'll have to deal with it. That's gonna, that's gonna Oko, right? We're not Assault Entente. We're Choice Band Ente. Yeah, we're gone. Wow. Okay. That's so cool. And the Ninetales just launches a Heat Wave. That's fine. Okay. Well then. I guess we go into Charizard now and uh, turn up the heat. <laughs> the Venusaur is definitely going to get a move off. I'm going to Heat Wave with Charizard. That's the play. And then... Oh, should I Terrastalize with Charizard? No. No, I, I don't want to tear him with Charizard yet. I want to Heat Wave, and I probably want to Sucker Punch the Ninetales. I guess I could Sacred Sword it, but Sucker Punch would do so much more. I feel like it would go down if both of these land. I'm going to go with Sucker Punch. And we're really fast on Charizard, so Ninetales would have to be max speed and hope for the speed tie if it wants to go before this combo. But man, getting caught by Terra Ground Earth Power, that's so cool. I'm not even mad. That, that's so cool. Alright, we get the Sucker Punch. Does a ton of damage to Ninetales. And they connect a Sleep Powder on Charizard. Oh no. Aww. Uh, we would have won the speed tie. If it was even a speed tie, it, might, it probably wasn't. And they connect the Heat Wave on both. Which takes our Chen Pao down to Sash, of course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, of course we launch Heat Wave. And there's not much to do other than protect the Chen Pao. Predictable. Sludge Bomb plus Heat Wave probably takes out our Charizard, honestly. If they choose to go with that. I'm gonna Sucker Punch the Nine Tails. I think... I think stopping one of them from attacking might be better. Protecting Chen Pao might be too obvious anyway. But they've got a lot of momentum here. I don't know how I'm gonna stop this. Ugh. I hope you're like Wide Lens or something for that cruel pattern. Okay, Nine Tails we take out. That's good. Sludge Bomb into Chen Pao, though. Okay, but Solar Power plus Heat Wave, it would have added up on Charizard. We kept him a little safer. And now, if he'll wake up, we can get him faster than Venusaur. Because we can, we, we can Tailwind now. And their Fire-type is gone, so Whimsicott might not die. Well, no, they have Sludge Bomb. We could Terra Water it? I don't know if that's the play. Hmm. We are so behind. All right, uh, and it's Fluttermane. Max speed Charizard under Tailwind will catch you even if you're speed booster. And you are speed booster. So we have to Tailwind. And we have to Heat Wave. And we have to wake up. And we have to double connect. And you have to not be Focus Sash. Can we do all those things? Mm, that's where I would put a Focus Sash. The question is if we Terra something. Charizard, I, I assume they're gonna kill Charizard if we don't get this to work. So I'm gonna Terra Charizard because this has to work. If we get the, what would this be now? Three turns of sleep? If they get the three turns sleep, or if they dodge a heat wave, well then they just win. All right, Tailwind, no protects, and Charizard is fast asleep. That's like, that's good game, right? Oh, and they have Power Gem, yeah, good game. Whimsicott is not beating your whole team. A critical hit Power Gem, you needed that. You really needed that. I don't think I was gonna go down to that, Fluttermane. Probably Choice Specs or something, because you have Power Gem. I could have Terra Water to live this, but what good would that do me? 
Alright, sorry Charizard. Alright, now we're fighting Chen Pao Dragonite, Fluttermane, Entei, Urshifu, and Ogre Pond. Very scary team, but finally not a weather team. First we fought Rain and we beat it, and then we fought a team that gave us Sun and they destroyed us. So I don't know what's gonna happen when they have no weather. Uh, they're gonna priority spam, and our answer to priority spam is... Our answer to Entei is... Yeah, this is gonna be a tough one. Alright. I think... Do we have, we have Ghost Terra Chen Pao. Maybe our own priority spam can overwhelm theirs. Uh, speed boost Fluttermane is pretty cool too. I like Fluttermane a lot, but we need an answer to their Entei, which would be our Entei, because a choice band stomping should knock them out. So Entei Fluttermane is what I'm going with. Rillaboom for their water type, or types. And Rillaboom is really good against their Fluttermane as well, though our Entei is good against Fluttermane too. But it's also really good against their Ogre Pond, having Rillaboom. And then probably Chen Pao last. I want to bring Charizard, but I'm not setting Sun. And they're not setting Sun, so Charizard can't do anything here. We're gonna go with the other four this time. Sorry Charizard, you had two chances. And honestly, you did great, you just were too sleepy. It's not really your fault. It's Venusaur's fault. Darn you, Venusaur! Okay, I'm gonna get over that now. It was just really cool. Dragonite and and Both extreme speeders, no Chen Pao. Wow. Okay. I'm glad I have the Fluttermane. Now, they could double E-speed into Entei. That'd be bad. Our Entei, show me a ton of speed. Show me just absolutely 150. No, they probably have the exact same speed stat. Okay. Stomping Tantrum into Entei. Entei has to go. And they have to Terra their Dragonite. So they could just double E-speed the Entei. That'd be bad. But they're gonna probably Sacred Fire into Fluttermane. I'm gonna launch an Icy Wind. That'll guarantee our Entei goes first, as long as we connect that. Assuming they are going for a Sacred Fire, or a Stomping Tantrum of their own, or a Snarl or something. Yeah, they're Terrastalizing. We expect this. We expect it to be Dragonite. I really doubt Entei would go down to just an E-Speed. Now, you could have something weird like Iron Head. I wasn't covering for that. I'm going after the other guy. Yeah. But would you really go E-Speed unless you're taking care of Fluttermane? And Dragonite went first, so I doubt Entei's going. Yes, we get to the Icy Wind, and this should be taking out their Entei, because we're Choice Band. Choice Band Entei is not the normal way to run Entei. It doesn't take it out. Oh no. But they don't take us out either. I guess they're too bulky. Okay. Well then. Our extreme speed will go before their extreme speed, but they have the easiest swap into Fluttermane imaginable. Oh, we can't extreme speed. That's right. That's right. All right, I'm going into Rillaboom. And I'm going to Shadow Ball their Entei. Man, we got burned on Fluttermane too. This grass will cancel out the burn of these, so we can keep Fluttermane around until it gets hitting you. Now Rillaboom, you're gonna have to take an extreme speed and it's gonna hurt. Sorry about that. But they do withdraw Entei into Urshifu. Which one? Get out of the way. Water. Okay, I wish I had Moonblast with that. Ooh, that does way too much damage.
Okay, now they've got extreme speed and aqua jet pressure. But of course we have fake out. They could protect Urshifu and just e-speed into Rillaboom. Um, would they be Scarf Urshifu? Yeah, I think they would. So I think the fake out is actually doable. Man. When are we gonna start hitting Dragonite though? <laughs> okay, they swap out their Urshifu now. They were Scarfed. Into Entei, so we're gonna take their Entei at least. they get to extreme speed. <laughs> Bye, Rillaboom. Oh, okay. Well. Good damage into Dragonite. I'm happy with that. Um, we still have Terra, right? We could Terra Ghost our Chen Pao. Fluttermane would then go down to an Aqua Jet. But they'd be locked into Aqua Jet wouldn't be the worst. Oh no, they bring out their own Chen Pao. Interesting. Maybe we can position ourselves for a E-Speed sweep in the end game. And we went first? Are we? I thought we were admin. We are? Oh, it's a speed tie for sure. Okay, we're both admin. Well, Terra Ghost, Sacred Sword. And they probably, what, sucker punched my Fluttermane? It's not that hard to just protect. I would like to keep Fluttermane around a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Give them at least a uh, distraction. Throw out an Icy Wind next turn so they can't. Oh, they're swapping out Dragonite. Okay. Gonna take some more damage on your Urshifu. I don't know if you're liking that. And presumably you're not gonna Sucker Punch or Ice Spinner my Chen Pao, so you're not gonna get anything this turn. I would hope. Okay, we gotta get everything into E-Speed range, so we have to hit their Chen Pao. Oh, they went for Sucker Punch on Fluttermane. That makes sense. That's what you would go for on Fluttermane. And we almost take out their Urshifu, but not quite. Okay. Long game. They're gonna Aqua Jet Fluttermane. I can't stop it. I can't swap. I would lose something for that. Then they're gonna Sucker Punch my Chen Pao. Bringing me to Sash. I Sacred Sword their Chen Pao, and then they have three low health Pokemon. E Speed Sucker Punch. That would be a Speed Tie. I can protect. Maybe they won't make the play I'm thinking of make. No, they absolutely are. They just go for ice. Water. Okay. No more healing for you. I guess they didn't want to lose a potential uh, sucker punch war there. Okay. Now I'm for we're forced into a sucker punch war now though, because I have to extreme speed into your Urshifu. Your Urshifu would go before my sucker punch. So that's a speed tie war there. And I have no choice but to extreme speed. So this is what it comes down to, this 50-50. Presumably you recognize the same situation I do. And we're both gonna click Sucker Punch, and we're both gonna hold our breath. You could swap in Dragonite if you're really bold, but I don't really know if that helps you much. 
So even if you bring in Dragonite, I don't think you're gonna lock into extreme speed when I have a ghost on the field. I think you see it. And you won the speed tie there, so that confirms you are adamant max. Okay, they just protect. That's actually a major throw. That is a huge throw for you. Wait a minute. Is that really, really good for me? Your Entei's down, your Urshifu's down. This is all you've got. You've already burned Terra. I can extreme speed your Chen Pao. You can't extreme speed my Chen Pao. And Sacred Sword should knock out your Dragonite. Oh, I think I got this. Uh, your Dragonite could be super, super fast. No, your max speed on Dragonite is like 140 something. I'm 150, I should be faster than every Dragonite. Yeah, bye Chen Pao. Sword, tell me that finishes it. That finishes it. Good game. Good game. All right, I've currently got a winning record, and here I am risking it all with a fourth game. But they've got a super cool team. They've got Lucario. They've got Sandy Shock, Sarina, Okie Dogi, Chen Pao, Gallade. All of those are so cool. Oh man. Okay, Wide Guard Glade is terrifying. I look at all those things and that's the thing I think. It's like, oh no, that's the scary one. Uh, I definitely want to go Whimsicott Charizard. Do I want to lead it or put it in the back? Because Chen Pao and Entei, now they have Sarina to block priority, but I still think they're really good, even if I just throw out Sacred Swords and Sacred Fires, and I'm just good. Their biggest threat to Entei is their Sandy Shocks, which I can handle with Terra Grass. I like that. Do this. Charizard wins the cat in the back. Uh, Fluttermane is... Fluttermane's good here. Rillaboom? Rillaboom's less good. I can't fake out as long as Sarina exists. They have an inner focus mod. Okie dokie has a really good matchup into it, and, and Fluttermane's fine. But if I'm bringing Charizard, I need Whimsicott too. So I already have my Fairy, I don't need Fluttermane. I think this is it. I think these are the four. Plus I want to bring Charizard. I didn't bring Charizard last time, and it was the right call. But now, I just want to play with Charizard. I already got some wins. They don't have a trainer card. Man. Okay, Okie Doggy and Gallade. Glad I didn't go with Charizard. They could just wide guard and stop me. Now a Sacred Fire is gonna blow up that Gallade so hard. Or do I want to hit Okie Doggy? I think I want a Sacred Fire right into that Gallade and just protect my Chen Pao. I mean, I could also Terra Ghost, but I don't think it's time for that. I love locking into Sacred Fire. That's why I brought this thing. I want to throw fire moves. That's why I also have Charizard. Fire is so cool against your team. Like, sure, show me what you got. And I'm just going to protect Chen Pao. Because, like, yeah, you could Drain Punch. Now, go ahead, take this opportunity to start bulking up or something. That'd be cool. But I'm going to lay it out the way so I can start throwing mean heat waves. Okay, no protects from there, end. Critical hit, I don't think we needed that. We're choice banned and you're gone, Gallade. Goodbye. So then a poison jab from Okie Dogi, but it wasn't a Chen Pao, okay. They were respecting the possibility of Terra, or Swap. They were not respecting the power. Okay, now they've got their Chen Pao in.
I want to, well, I'm locked into Sacred Sword, so I'm gonna click Sacred Sword. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. cat or dog has gotta go. I'm gonna hit their Okie Doggy with Sacred Fire and their Chen Pao with Sacred Sword. They just protect their Chen Pao, okay. I threw the, str I threw the strong move at Okie Doggy. I'm happy with that. They'll probably have the opportunity now. I assume they live this and break Chen Pao's sash. And their Chen Pao could be fast. Can I get a burn? Oh, I'm so greedy, but I get it. <laughs> and they, oh no, they just drain punch into Entei. They're really scared of Terra Ghost from me. Maybe I'll finally give it to them. But yeah, now... Now I Sacred Fire into Chen Pao. And I just Ice Spinner down the rest of this Okie Doggy. Man, this, this lead's putting on too much pressure. You better take something out so I can bring in Charizard soon. Okay, now they're Terrastalizing. I don't think it's a low health burned dog. Probably the Chen Pao into Ghost seeing as... Oh, it's Poison. Okay. Uh, that's the same. I wasn't actually using the fighting move on. Sacred Fire is the same whether you're Poison or Ghost. Does Ice Spinner take the dog from here? It does. Another crit! I don't think we needed that crit either, but I will take them. I like them going that way rather than coming this way. Lash out into end doesn't knock us out. Sacred Fire connects again and brings Chen Pao super low. No burn this time. That's fair. We've got it. We've gotten all our luck so far. And we moved first. So they're likely another one of these adamant Chen Pao's. All right, they've got Chen Pao. They've got Mario as their last. I kind of want to get Entei out so I can E speed, but no, their E speed might be faster. Lucario's max speed is 156, we have 150, so they could just be faster and e-speed me later anyway. I'm gonna Sacred Fire into their Lucario, and I'm going to Ice Spinner into their Chen Pao. I kinda hope they do take something out. I would love to bring Charizard in now. Okay, they just protect their Chen Pao. Blocking the Ice Spinner. We still don't know the speed tiers, but I assume it's a tie. I assume most people wouldn't go less than Adam and 252. We get the Sacred Fire into Lucario, they weren't fast, but they're Sash. Oh, the Chen Pao isn't Sash, the Lucario is. And they close combat into our Chen Pao. Um, I don't know if they would have E-Speed or if they would have Bullet Punch, so I don't think it's worth consuming Terra. I could consume Terra on Chen Pao, that covers for E-Speed, and then Sucker Punch them, which covers for Bullet Punch. I don't hate that. And I do want to actually get Entei out now. I'll just bring in Charizard hard. And then, yeah, I will Sucker Punch. No. Terra, Sucker Punch, their Lucario. They can't hit me with E Speed. And if all they have is Bullet Punch, Sucker Punch goes first. Now, if they Sucker Punch me with their Chen Pao, and win the Speed Tie. Then we'll have to clean up with Charizard. But that's okay, Charizard, Charizard needs to pull its weight in this battle. <laughs> he just here is a cheerleader. Entei was killing it. They do go for the E speed. All right, that was a good Terra. But now Sucker Punch fails. That's pretty funny. And then they lash out and use Charizard. Okay. So we will protect Charizard and Sacred Sword the Lucario. Now if they also have Bullet Punch, that's crazy. <laughs> They also have an opportunity to Sucker Punch now into my Chen Pao. Okay, they E-Speed into Charizard. And they... No, we get the Sacred Sword into Lucario. Bye, Lucario. Whew. Man, all these Sucker Punch Wars are... Oh, they have Taunt. 
This is a really interesting Chen Pao. Taunt, protect, lash out. I don't know what they were going for there. But I'm gonna throw Scorching Sands and I'm going to Ice Spinner. Yeah, you, I don't think you can stop both of us. And the battle was canceled. Good job, Charizard. You put on the pressure, you did it. Get a trainer card. All right, we're back with the rental again. Thank you, Clue, for making this. Thank you, Nico, for sharing it. I looked at a lot of different Charizard teams and this one just spoke to me. It is so strong. And personally, while I don't think Charizard is that good, this team composition allows Charizard to shine. Uh, I hope you agree. Go ahead and try it out. I highly recommend this Charizard if you want to use Charizard. Anyway, I hope you had a good day. I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace!